Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and we're right here at IFA 2014. And just a quick heads up: this video is brought to you by Asus and Mercedes Benz. But what we have right here is a bit special. This is the LG G Watch R. So that's the first round smartwatch from LG coming with Android Wear. So as usual, you get a card-based interface including Google Now. Right now we're in retail mode so I can't really show you around but if you've been uh, seeing Android Wear you can basically remember how it's done. You just navigate using cards and yeah, can access information about like travel, other information from your phone. There's also some fitness sensors in here so there's a step counter and all that kind of stuff but what's new is also a hard rate sensor but we'll show you that in a second so the GWatch R is based on Android Wear and has a 1.3 inch round POLED display so POLED stands for plastic OLED which means there is a plastic substrate down here that makes it possible to realize this round shape and make it pretty sturdy so it doesn't really crack or anything uh, resolution is 320 by 320, so that's from here to there and there to there. Diagonally, it's pretty hard to reach those 320 pixels that way. Under the hood, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400. That's a dual core running at 1.2 gigahertz. That's combined with 512 megabytes of RAM and 4 gigs of flash storage. There's Bluetooth in here for the connection to the phone, and no voice calling functionality since this is just a Bluetooth watch, it is not av available with its own SIM card. Around the, the screen you see this pretty wide band of like this minute band around here, that's where LG is hiding its display drivers so as opposed to the Moto 360 where it has this bar down here where the display driver is located, the whole thing is <coughs> uh, stuffed into this band around the screen. The cover of the phone of the smartwatch is made out of stainless steel that has a black coating in this case. The base part is made out of plastic and it houses the new heart rate sensor which is the first for LG on a smartwatch and over here you see the five charging pins. So this is not charged, charged wirelessly but it is connecting to a dock and that's the way they charge this device. What's also new on the G-Watch R is the button on the side here that lets you activate the display so if you want to save battery life you can choose to have the display turn off after a couple of seconds and if you want to activate it again you just press the button and it lights up the display again. It is using standard uh, wristbands so you can just easily exchange the wristbands to any other wristband you like. From the factory it comes with this pretty nice looking black genuine leather wristband that's included in the price and you get a standard strap so the part where it locks uh, to your wrist is just as on any other wristband so no fancy uh, closure there as on other devices from other manufacturers. Uh, size wise we're talking about a well, it is a pretty big smartwatch, but if you're a man, you can easily put this on your wrist, no problem at all. For smaller hands, there's actually a second part right here that holds the strap, so it uh, doesn't bubble around when you have a thinner arm. And if you compare it to the older G-Watch, you'll actually see that, yeah, the size difference is not that big. But what's really different is the screen, so we're downloading an update on the G-Watch right here, um, but still, this is at full brightness on the old G-Watch or the other G-Watch and as you can see the brightness difference is enormous in this case. So this is the LG G-Watch R coming out pretty soon and it's probably going to be under $300. We don't officially know the price yet. There's been a blunder um, where it said 300 euros um, but that's about, uh, around the area you will uh, this one see in retail. So I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out the LG G Watch R at IFA 2014. And if you like what we do on our channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.